this is the one. Yeah. Hey, can I help y'all? Oh, oh. Um, just inquiring. No, here, here, please, here, please, here. About <laughs> nope, just uh, hanging out <laughs> at Dallas cool. Ventures Toys. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Yeah, nothing to see here. <laughs> nothing to, not not nothing to see here. here. Not a slave one, not at all. <laughs> uh, uh, Andre Gower, Ryan Lambert. Um, hey, if you're hanging out, um, we're uh, buying all the inventory, so you better get here very quickly. From 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, Ryan and I will be uh, hanging out, taking photos, and uh, signing some stuff. You got a poster? You got a photo? You want to just take a photo? Come on down, Dallas Finch's Toys. Hang out with Ryan, hang out with Andre, and all the cool staff here. We're about to have a truck back up. In the, uh, that happened yesterday. Away, and, Hurry up. Uh, every, nothing will be left. That's right. Okay. So what toys did y'all have growing up? Um, all had, toys that I had? Yeah, let's see. I, I had, we'll get all this one. in the video, I too. Yeah. One. I had a slave one, but not the handle. <laughs> I didn't I have the, the handle. I had the cantina. I had the rancor. I definitely had the Falcon. So big Star Wars guys. I had big, big Star, Star Wars, Wars guys. guys. Big Star Wars guys. I actually had a uh, R2-D2 ring. That's nice. <laughs> I had a die cast uh, X-Wing fighter, a little tiny one, um, and a bunch of the original uh, uh, action figures. I did swords that came, you know. Uh, Lightsabers? Lightsabers that came out of the arms. Swords. I said swords. Said laser swords. swords. I was about to say laser swords, and I, I biffed the joke. I biffed the joke. <laughs> I was trying to do the joke, and I screwed up the joke. Um, I need, I need a coffee. I don't we drink, have coffee. I don't drink. I, I mean a tea. See, I messed that one. We up. have tea also. It's all these toys. Um, did you have the big? Did you have the rancor? Rancor? I did have the rancor. Oh, he was. I, awesome. I had. The, I, I kept it in the box for a really, really long time. Too. Yeah. And I had the Death Star. Wait. That, oh, this. Yeah. This that is the Death Star. With the the foam. Uh, and you cranked it, and like it went like this, and like they finally got to see what the actual thing looked like. Right. It came out. The Dianoga it, monster. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, it was like a weird Loch Ness monster thing that we never saw in the film, except for the eye that came out. Right. <laughs> There's something alive in here. Yeah. <laughs> what a wonderful smell you discovered. <laughs> <laughs> Cool stuff. Oh man! Oh, I never got. I never. My mom would buy me the radio-controlled Jawa. That would have been. Uh, that would have been a D-cell so battery killer. That. Wouldn't it? That would have been and, nine and, and, and nine volt. And nine volt. Two D volt and two nine volts. And by the time the Ewok Village came out, I was too old. I'm well, like, I don't need the toys anymore. Now I'm like no Ewoks. It, 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 it Ewoks. Full circle. Oh, I'm not an Ewok fan. This, Ewok the, fan. No. 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 Should have been the Wookiee planet. Should have been the Wookiee planet. Oh, come on. Was that Kanish or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Should, should, should have been there. That's, they shouldn't change the story. All right, he yeah. wants to look at some toys yeah. down go, there. Go on, go on, Ryan. Ryan. G.I. Joe. What toys do you want to look at now? Knowing is half the battle. He's been here before. <laughs> he goes straight to his rack. <laughs> I like the bins where stuff is piled. You never know what's in there. Yes. There's a Xenomorph and a Jabba. Yeah, I like that. But, you know, Master of the Universe is where it's at. You know, it's, uh, I was, uh, a whole bin of stuff up there. I was in, uh, actually, I did a ton of Master of the Universe commercials for Mattel when I was a kid. Are you serious? Yeah, I did probably 12 or 15 of those, uh, commercials. I introduced Hordak, I think, and Beastman commercial. It was great. So, if you go on YouTube and look at old Master of the Universe commercials, you might see Because we bought there. out a guy that worked for Mattel for 34 and a half years, and he had a bunch of He-Man stuff. So yeah, I wonder if y'all worked together. There's some great stuff. So, uh, yeah, I, just, I ended up doing so many. Uh, and just kept going in for probably two or three years and did uh, dozen, you know, dozen, two dozen commercials for Master of the Universe. Uh, did they pay you in toys? No, which is good, because they get paid in, 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 in actual money. Oh, right, there's a Castle Grayskull. Like, that's in pretty good shape over there. That's like this new one yeah. up there. This is the new, the new, the new section. The origins. You should take them on the other side of the fence real quick, just oh, to... Oh, this, yeah. Okay, hey, Ryan, come this way. Uh-oh. We'll see his reaction real quick. Oh my god. What is happening? Oh. oh, that's a good one. My alarm clock when I was a kid was Darth Vader. He probably had it somewhere around here. He, he, he was like, he goes like this. And he wakes you up. And then he goes, impressive. You got out of bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I ain't out of bed yet at all. I'm never getting out of bed. 
Did you see that post the other day? Like they did the his superstar destroyer, how big it is? It's like the size of Manhattan. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh yes, Harry. That's a weird Harry Potter. Is that what I'm looking at? It's a Quidditch Harry Potter. <laughs> but he's so tall. I think Mattel made that this too. This is about as big as Daniel actually I, is. You might be, yes. <laughs> like if you were staying in Continuum Island. He'd be like, what's up, man? Dun, 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 dun. Look, it's easy. <laughs> and then Voldemort. <laughs> Uh-oh. I got him with my light sword. I meant to say laser sword. I screwed <gasps> up the joke. I screwed up the joke. This is my boy. I screwed up the joke. This is my guy right here. Oh, what does this one do? Two cabbage patch kids. Twin. This is dude. Oh, <laughs> it's got a pull string. Can I do it? Yeah. Home. Home. Does it do other ones? Did you say ouch? Yeah. No. <laughs> what do you do to him? <laughs> Home. Home and ouch. Home and ouch. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Love it. I mean, I do it like that. You know, someone should just put a handle on this and make it like your briefcase and go into work with that. Oh, like, there is right there. No, I mean like on the side. Oh. Like you're walking. <laughs> no, I'm not going to like, hey, Jim, I'm here for the 1030 staff meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and as you'll see here on my PowerPoint. I don't uh, think any work would get done. <laughs> and you do your PowerPoint all in like character, yeah, like yeah, animated. Yeah. Hey, so can you do a commercial for that? Uh, for the uh, PowerPoint for Castle Grace? <laughs> They're like, oh, it's got well, we're going to make new changes to PTO. You only get 14 days of PTO. Not so fast, Skeletor. 14 days only. See, when you're He-Man, you got to do the not so fast Skeletor in the commercials. I did that a couple times, so it's good. Uh, oh, you got lunchboxes over there? Oh, what? That has his name on the bottom of it. It's his thermos. Thanks for the soup. Thanks for the soup. The soup oh. came in here when I was a kid. Not a drink. A whole soup. A whole bin of... A whole bin of lunchboxes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We gotta, Are we supposed to feed y'all, too? <laughs> the evil, the evil one is good. I think I had the evil one. I think I had Empire Strikes Back and Empire Strikes Back. Oh, yes. I'm moving in. I had a, an awesome Matchbox one when they started doing plastic, but I had uh, Emergency, my favorite TV go. show yep. of all time. And then we had some of those action figures. Oh, yes. With this Randolph Mantooth and Kevin Tighe. <laughs> Actual LA fighter fire, Mike Stoker. Uh, yes, the name of these guys. Hey, real stuff. Love it. Evil Knievel. Ooh, a Pinocchio one? I know some Disney fans that would like that one. Holy cow. Yeah, we'll remember where this bit was. There's the uh, first knockoff uh, laser sword behind you. <laughs> the first knockoff? Well, oh, the first knockoff. So... This looks like it came from a different type of store. <laughs> the first knockoff. Uh, Brian, here you go. Then first knockoff shitty lightsaber, <laughs> laser sword, lasers. That's what his mom bought him when he was. <laughs> That's the, you, you see how not cool it is. <laughs> Strike him down. Yeah, I mean, it's just a flashlight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just yep. Yeah. It looks like you're making balloon animals. <laughs> I can make a balloon. <laughs> I want a bicycle. <laughs> Well, as we said earlier, these guys are going to be here from three to six. And well, we'll be back here. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we will come and get y'all. That's right. That's <laughs> right. We're going to have them hard at work here. <laughs> yes. That's what some of the talents done before. They're like, I'm still playing the pinball machine. I'm like, sir, you have a. Uh, People ready to get autographs from you. Yeah, it's on free play. Oh my gosh. Sir, we lost your friend. Okay, okay he's going back. All right, so anyway, come here three to six and uh, do the mean greet, get some signatures, some selfies at Dallas Vintage Toys. Come on down. DBT is the place to be.